Hi, in this video I'm going to give you a few quick ways to fix your oboe reeds. Okay, so on this reed, the opening is a little too small for me. This can happen if the weather is really cold or really dry out, so the easiest thing to do is get some water. I heated this up in the microwave quickly. I would say that it's about the same temperature as hot coffee or hot tea or maybe hot soup. So I'm going to let it sit in there for a few seconds, take it out. And I don't know if you could really see this through the camera, but the opening is a little bit bigger. Yeah, so this is a little trick that I usually use with my reeds if the weather's dry out or if the reed's a little old and starting to die a little bit. The other trick you can do, and I know everyone's probably done this before, is just kind of squeeze it open with your fingers like that. Or if it's too open, you can just kind of squeeze it shut like that. Having to squeeze the reed open or shut is not ideal because I think it does actually make the reed die a little bit quicker. But if you are in a pinch, it does help a little bit. Now, of course, don't squeeze it so hard that you break it like that. A quick way to adjust the pitch of your reed is by looking at the overlap between the two blades. So as you can see, there's a little bit of an overlap where the top blade is a little bit to the right and the bottom blade is a little bit to the left. You can kind of see that a little bit. So what you can do is you can actually offset the overlap even more and that'll make the pitch go up. It might uh, make the tone a little less full sounding, but if you really need to correct the pitch and raise the pitch, offsetting it more to the right will raise the pitch. And then making the two blades sit more on top of each other will actually lower the pitch. Once again, not an ideal situation. Hopefully your reed has the opening in the pitch that you want, but it can get you by in a, in a pinch. Now, if you do have a cutting block and a razor blade, of course, the easiest way to, or probably the best way to raise the pitch of a reed is to clip it. So, I'm doing a couple of things when I clip the reed. I'm raising the reed up like that, and that's so that the bottom blade of the reed the reed that's going to be on your lower left is going to be a little bit shorter than the top blade. And then what you can also do as you're clipping it, instead of clipping it straight down, you can also clip it at an angle like that. And that'll help you get more of a difference between the top and bottom blade and their length. So I might start with a clip that small, and I don't even think you can see it in the, in the camera. It's so small. Maybe just look right there. So I'm only taking off a very small bit because you, of course, cannot add cane back on. You can only take it off. So just go a little bit at a time. A clip like this. A clip that big, I, I would almost never do unless the reed was brand new and I knew it was way too long. But a finished reed, I would never take off that much. Just so you know, this reed is old, it's dead, it doesn't work anymore. So that's why I'm using it as a demonstration reed. Now, if you are starting to make your own reeds and you do have some supplies, like a knife and a plaque, there are a few quick adjustments you can make. I also, you might see me scraping with a mandrel in the reed. I, I prefer it. A lot of people don't scrape with a mandrel and they just scrape like that, but yeah, it's just more comfortable for me this way. So a few quick things you can do to open up the reed is you can make more separation between the three main parts of the reed. That is the tip, the heart, and the windows. So if I wanted this reed to be a little bit more open, what I might try doing is scraping more out of the bottom of the tip and out of the windows. What that does is create more separation between the tip and the heart and the windows. And that actually uh, makes the reed a little bit more open. The opening of the reed is mostly determined before you tie it on. It's mostly determ determined by the diameter of the cane you use, by the gouge, by the shaper tip. But this way you can actually control the opening just a little bit. If I wanted this reed to be more closed down, I would actually make a smoother transition between all the sections. I would also maybe take a little bit of cane off the very top of the tip, off the top of the heart and kind of smooth the transition between the uh, the windows and the heart. 